my second time back in Ireland, this time in Dublin, sees me go right to the very top. But come the end of my trip, will they be at the very top? It's the League of Ireland's Premier Division League leaders, Shamrock Rovers. It's on the road, yet yeah, back again. We're heading to Stansted Airport very, very early. Quarter past four in the morning to be exact. Has anyone tried out Smooth FM yet? Come on, let me know. Yeah, I'm that good, knackered as I edit this. But if you're a regular viewer of the channel, you would know I've already been to Ireland once, went to the Division 1 side, Cork City. Good crack down there, real good crack, but very, very interested to see what Dublin brings. The first part of my leg is completed, thanks to the missus. Trust me, it's not easy being with me, especially when you have to get up and take me to the airport at 4am. So at this moment, I squint my eyes to see what's going on. Couldn't see much, so off we went to security. Be right back. Sir, you are aware you can't take liquids over 100 mil? Yeah, sorry mate, let me nick that now. Oh, Spent the majority of my time in this airport looking for a seat. Couldn't find a seat, so I kept walking. Continue to walk. To the point where I'm going down some steps. Now I find myself next to this giant thing that flies through the air. After going down steps, it's back up steps. And finally, I found a seat. Round trip, 42 quid. Bargain. He's got the right idea. And whilst we take the hour and a bit of flight to Dublin, I've got something for you. Gentlemen, it's that time of the year. Father's Day is around the corner. Now, I always struggle with Father's Day just because my dad's birthday is always on top of it. I always find the older people get, the harder it is to find presents for people, especially my dad. But thanks to today's sponsor, I'm sorted for this year for sure. That's right, Manscaped to back. And of course, I'm here to tell you about the Performance Package 4.0, which is the perfect bundle to tackle any and all old man hair from head to toe. There's no dad jokes in this one, trust me. You can treat him, yourself, and join the other 4 million men that trust Manscaped worldwide. And because I love you all, and you've been listening up until this point, you're going to get yourself 20% off, plus free shipping when you use Smith20 at checkout. And trust me, his dad bod will thank you. Inside this package, you're going to get the Lawnmower 4.0 trimmer. That's right. I just love the LED. There's always light at the end of the tunnel, lads. You also get the Weed Whacker nose and ear trimmer, the Crop Preserver ball deodorant, Crop Reviver ball toner. I love this stuff, honestly. And don't forget the performance box of briefs. And I know you're going to ask me how you're going to carry all this stuff. Don't worry, they've got you covered. Travel bag, sorted. Want to quickly talk to you about these boxers as well. We all know dads love their comfort. I'm a dad. I love my comfort. Story checks out. And with summer just around the corner, the boxers 2.0 are going to save every father from that uncomfortable heat. You know what I'm saying? It's just a pair of boxers, Smith. No, these boxers are packed with revolutionary features, including the jewel pouch. It's literally designed to cradle the lads in their own special place. It's a game changer. Whether he's mowing the lawn, taking the rubbish out, or even at golf, these moisture wicking boxers breathe without breaking a sweat. And just a reminder when you're upgrading your life or somebody else's for that matter, be sure to get 20% off plus free shipping at manscaped.com when you use the code Smith 20. Nice one for Manscaped once again for sponsoring this video. I'm in Dublin. And now I'm in a taxi. £21 spent. I told him to drop me anywhere central. He's popped me right here. Right next to the National Leprechaun Museum. Hello there. So this is the crowd. I've got the cheapest fight possible. Oh, hello, mate. How you been? And I've made it here for 8am. I can't check into my hotel until 4pm. And the game tonight is at 7.45pm. So I basically wandered around for a bit. I also set on my 13-inch 2015 MacBook Pro and edited a vlog. They last if you want them to, trust me. If you haven't checked out that vlog already, go and check it out. It actually features a little tour around Rover Stadium. So if you want to see more of that, it also features the absolute capitulation of that team that playing red that claim they're in North London. That was good, enjoyed that one. Many hours later, I'm eventually allowed to check into my hotel, Harrington Hall. Oh my god, a tram, how delightful. Going to the AA, it's five star facilities. Well, we'll be the judge of that. As we go into our room, I'd give that a, I'd give it three stars. Nothing special, is it? I'll tell you what was special though. I'm room number one. When does that ever happen? Have you ever booked a hotel and become room number one? So yeah, this very standard five-star room came to £176, people. Honestly, it was all that was available. So we tried to forget about that hefty price. Tram's outside again. And David said he's going to be right there. Mate, yes, how you doing, man? You right? Mm. And so it's David that's going to take me to the promised land. Once he does that, should we do this bit? Yeah, go on. His name, Shamrock Rovers. They were founded in 1899. They currently find themselves at the very, very top of the League of Ireland Premier Division. It's a big one tonight. They take on the Northern Irish side, Derry City, who's sitting second. And this game shall be played at the Talla Stadium. I think that's how you say it. Talla. This has a total capacity of 8,000. As I say, you can check out more of that in the previous vlog. So I'll go on about Smooth 102.2. Ireland have got the equipment. It's called Sunshine. <laughs> You may have heard that Ireland is absolutely beautiful. It is. These sort of shots don't really do it justice, but yeah, it does look very nice out there. As we approach the stadium, sunshine's getting me in the mood. Westlife, yes please. Now, when we visited City, I brought up the Westlife versus Boys Own debate. It's not really a debate, but feel free to leave your preference in the comments below. Westlife. 18 quid on the taxi, and now I'm entering via the player entrance. Getting a tour, don't you know? I was pitch side, and for the third time in this video, go and check out the vlog. My tour actually ended here, the Members Club, where I'm sat with Tales from the East Stand podcast, and they told me to grab Ray's curry. Ray? Ray! Chicken curry, please, mate. And here is said chicken curry, which set me back five euros. That's £4.23 with the exchange rate. Someone bought me a Guinness. Thank you so much. And that was the first of many that night. I literally couldn't buy my own drink. Everyone kept buying me drinks. You're too kind. So, with regards to Ray's curry, I'll let you know how that went down at the end of the video. But there's a hint for you. Not gonna lie, I'm a little bit starstruck. That's Rebecca. Rebecca who? What do you mean, Rebecca who? It's Rebecca from the program. It's Dangerous Dave's daughter. You're telling me we're gonna do a Rovers video without featuring Dangerous Dave? That'd be silly. It's Dangerous Dave, everyone. Hello! You right? I could've sat there all night and listened to Dangerous Dave. Instead, our attention was turned to a bunch of Dutch guys that turned up. Dutch or German, no one knows, but no one knows who they are. They just turned up. As I 
I'll try to finish McGuinness, another one turns up. In other news, on the road view, Shane's getting the badging. And then, after a few drinks, it's time to make our way into the ground. Shane's with me, still getting the badging. We've got Gary, who's actually on Irish Goggle Box, don't you know? I don't forget about Alex. Just whacked my QR code out, didn't I? And I can't lie, I, I kind of get prison vibes from this stadium. We've got Rovers tattoos on legs, a floral dress, and a tight squeeze turnstile. Who doesn't like a tight squeeze turnstile? It's cozy. Anyway, this ticket sent me back 17 euros. That's £14.37 on the current exchange rate. <laughs> Severe lack of click, click, clickage there, but boop, boop. we've got a baby change here. It's fantastic. What's time we're gonna go and block X? Why? Close enough. As I make my way up the steps. Okay, Am I in Brazil? No. But there are a bunch of Palmeiras fans who obviously rock the green and white too, and they're here to give their support for the Rovers. Mantea Bandera, Virgil van der Otto. So with the free stands in this ground, you could liken this place to Oxford. Although there's no sights of View Cinema in the background. What I can tell you is Justin Sutures at this gaff is not a thing. Absolutely not. Blooms? Sure, blow them up. Take a tape. Tanks. I mean, down there on photos, got a big one. Pass it on. And in the far corner, Derry City fans are popping off. They've got a very small soft spot for this lot, and I'll reveal that when I visit them. Meanwhile, this lot. Campione, campione, campione. Now, I've got to say, as far as surfaces go, this is one of the best I've seen. So it gives me great pleasure in giving a shout out to the groundsman for keeping the beautiful game looking beautiful. Oh, and you. And you, of course. It was nice and tidy out there, but it's about to get messy. <laughs> Definitely getting a taste of the atmosphere. You okay there, mate? Someone cutting onions or something. We've actually been in this thick green smoke for a while now, and uh, I, I didn't even know we kicked off. So to confirm, we have kicked off. Moments later, we can see. With these two defences being the most stubborn in the league, goals may be at their minimum. And if it is to be one of them games, at least we've got the atmosphere with us. So clap your hands, wave your flags, and wave your tiny scars around. What a mess. Someone's gonna have to clear this up. Moving on. I like this bit. <laughs> Far side there, we've got Hooper Man. There were rumours he'd been phase four of the MCU timeline. Marvel yet to confirm or deny this. So in the meantime, he just hangs around the Teller Stadium and eats raised curry on the regs. Haven't heard a peep from this lot, but they are making noise. We just can't hear them. In terms of the game, Derek would be the most likely to score in this one. Oh, yeah! Another attack sees this ball go flying past the goal. And we've got block shots too. Oh, yeah! On the player tunnel, you've got the one and the nine. That's 19 league titles. If things go well this year, it's going to be 20. The rumours are the chairman ain't going to be happy though. Going to have to pull something out of the transfer budget to fork out for two new numbers. Back on the pitch, Derek is still saying, we want this more than you. What a save! The best Rovers can muster up is uh, shooting from long distance. It's wired. It's over. It's over. The good news is they're Robbie Keane to get started on the stand down there. Up the capacity, up the atmosphere. But no more subtle advertisement for Brian McElroy funeral directors. Sorry, Brian, you're gonna have to buy an advertisement ball like everyone else in the ground. And that, my friends, is half time. <laughs> All right, let's walk back into the bar for a drink. I think I'm getting used to this. Can't work out if the Dutch slash German fans actually went outside. I was looking to buy a drink. Got a handy one before I could even get there. But what beer is this? Palmer. Did you just say Carlton Palmer? <laughs> yeah. It's literally half time. And it doesn't stop there either. Yeah. And then there was this one. The Derry City fans took a wrong turn. All right, Dangerous Dave's got them unlocked. Now, I'd love to sing more songs, but we've got a second half to go and watch. So we'll sing these ones instead. Right, I can tell it's still not a thing. Definitely not. This goalkeeper goes by the number of 26. I've not seen that before. I oh, so we're trying to get more people to watch Irish football, especially Irish people. Stop watching Liverpool, for God's sake. Maybe making me second side. Save money on your Sky Sports package and tune into places that also have digital subsports. This ain't no Robert League, trust me. Oh, hang on, we've got a face to a voice. <laughs> Yeah! <laughs>
Lovely little sunset forming in Dublin right now. It's a beautiful place. Beautiful place. I'll be honest, this is the best bit of football Rovers have done all game, and it uh, ends with a misplaced pass. Oh! But similar to Derry in the first half, Rovers having a good period of their own. Oh! They're pressing. Bang! Oh! And when you keep on pressing, sometimes, just sometimes, you get your reward. They're going to have to remind me where they are on the table. <laughs> Biggest question tonight is, whose job is it to get that down? And this, long ladder, and don't look down. Prime opportunity to head the ball back into play. A little bit disappointed with this, actually. Head that, head that. Hold it, keep it. So according to my mobile telephone device, we're in the 90th minute. It's all about game management. Nope, still not a thing. Don't let project game management distract you with the fact that I've seen that corner flag. It's moderate at best, but just like Cork City, the flag's up here huge. It's like the size of A3 paper. Good song, this one. Well, Mr. Referee, do your thing. As Rovers win the top of the table clash, as for Derry. So I'll take the goals down. Why don't you take the goals down? Should we rate this experience? I think we should. Let's. First up, and as usual, we're going to speak about the atmosphere. How was it at Rovers tonight? You know what I liked? The game was frustrating, especially in the first half, but nobody's head dropped. They were constantly behind their team and got their reward in the end. I love that from a fan base, which is why a packed out South Stand at the Tallah Stadium is going to get. Five stars, people. Next up, we're talking facilities. The Tallah Stadium. How was it? I went for a tour, didn't I? I think I might have mentioned that once or twice. Yeah, I like this ground. Neat and tidy. But it's missing one thing, and that is a north stand. Pack that ground out even more and get even better atmosphere. Obviously, we know that stand is going to come, but I have to rate on what I saw. And uh, for me, it's going to be three and a half stars. As we move on, it's time for food and drink. Very important, of course, isn't it? And there's a lot of pressure being piled on Ray's shoulders here. I was told good things, and it didn't disappoint. That chicken was cooked spot on. Sometimes you can overdo it, but yeah, Ray, you've smashed it there, mate. Not the spiciest curry in the world, but it doesn't need to be. A slight kick to it has earned it. Honestly, five stars. Which finally brings brings us on to cost. Was it value for money? Or we'll put it this way, I've paid more for a ticket in non-league football. And of course got much less back. This one, cheap. Around 14 quid when you do the conversion. Banging atmosphere, banging food, lovely sunset. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a hat-trick of five stars for Shamrock Rovers. In addition to the three and a half stars for the facilities, it puts them on 18 and a half. And if you know, you know, then you know, you know. Shamrock Rovers go top of the league for this season. But they're also the best performing club of all time on the road. It was Huddersfield on 18 stars up until now, but it is now time to pass that crown over. Congratulations, Shamrock Rovers. Yes, so as the interviews I had, I leave this stadium where I'm going to be following people I don't even know. And I'm going to follow them onto a coach that takes us to a place that I don't even know. Whilst on that coach, I did upload a photo of the football to football. We eventually get off where we reach the pizza baker, where they bake pizzas, and the four provinces. Drinks were had, they certainly were. Downstairs, there was genuinely someone with a fiddle. Whilst upstairs, this. And we've got another song for you. <laughs> and it's the legendary song about our football team. The most historic fucking football team. Yep. The most walking class team. The most fashion conscious, music conscious. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh I'm actually told that this song was actually sang by this very guy many years ago when they thought their club was going to go bust. In turn, the fans banded together, saved the club. They literally did it. Kept the green flag flying higher. While we are here, you'll never die. We keep the green flag flying high. Shamrock Rovers will never die. We'll keep the green flag flying high. We'll never die. We'll never die. We'll keep the green flag flying high. Shamrock Rovers will never die. We'll keep the green flag flying high. Shall the crow was a never done. We'll keep the green flag flying.
And that was time for me to shoot. It was an absolute pleasure to visit Shamrock Rovers. So many people down there made me feel welcome. To be invited back to the pub afterwards was a real privilege. Yeah, big up Shamrock Rovers. Big up Irish football as well. Two for two as far as I'm concerned so far. Yeah, if you enjoyed this one, do drop a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. My time in Ireland has come to an end, but I shall be back. I promise. My name is Smith. This is On The Road, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Westlife till I die.